Jack. Mm -hmm. Jack, look at me. You all right? Oh, and we're in red. My color. I'm sorry. Who is Jack? Do you know what? <laughs> Live. The... I'm fine. I was only joking. Oh, God, you had me worried. The transfer worked just as Juno said. It was funny though, right? Hilarious. Well, Jack, I'll say this. You certainly clean up nice. Thank you. I must admit this shell's architecture is much more... spacious than my previous one. Just don't go forgetting where you came from. Now that the transfer is complete, I'd suggest running calibrations to acclimate your software to the new shell. I should be able to repurpose your old calibration program to suit our needs. That's actually not a terrible idea. Then it's settled. I'll queue up the appropriate modules. Sit tight, Jack. We'll have you sorted quick enough. Nice. Tutorial after three hours of gameplay. <laughs> Welcome back to the real world, Jack. Before you go, I'd like to make use of your new data link. Captain Rhodes? Right. What is this? A data tile left behind by one of the station's scientists. I'd like to see if your scanner can access the information stored inside. All right, well, you heard the lady. Go on and give it a scan. So basically we had the exact same tutorial that we had in the prequel. It's just now we have a multi kind of functional inventory How menu. So snazzy. Ah, interesting. What was on it? Research notes on the biomass. Anything useful? A list of genetic markers shared between the different biomass forms. That could prove most useful. Jack, if you find any more devices with data ports like this one, be sure to scan them and transmit your findings to me. Will do. I've also added a new data tab to your ARM computer to track what we've recovered. How much data was lost? We don't actually have any way of knowing, but finding more will almost undoubtedly be beneficial towards developing a cure, even if only in a small way. Understood. Anything else, Juno? That should be all for now. Come on out then, Jack. Juno, do you read? Yes, Doctor. I need you back here to help me pass the FTL's output data. And bring Captain Rhodes with you. I could use her insight as well. We've nearly finished prepping Jack for departure. He's still here? I could have built an entirely new generator by now. Get him out of the airlock and then get up here. You weren't exaggerating. This Dr. Harlan is quite... Irritable. <laughs> Try not to be too hard on him. He has good reason. It sounds like there's something I should know. Juno? Tell him. Tell me what? Dr. Harlan is infected. Um. Okay. Infected with what? With the biomass, of course. Okay, why well, I asked that. I don't understand. He seemed perfectly normal. His infection is internal. A result of breathing in microparticles of the biomass. Though we have managed to slow the infection's progress using various treatments developed here at the facility, I fear the doctor may be approaching the final stages of his infection. What happens if he doesn't develop a cure in time? I'm guessing that very question is what's making him so irritable. I hope this might help you better understand why Dr. Harlan is the way he is. His entire life, he's only ever had one goal. Eliminate the biomass. Preserve what's left of humanity. Thanks to you, for the first time in, well, quite a while, we appear to be making progress. Whatever I can do to help. You can start by restoring the generator. Lead on. Cycling the airlock now. I guess that's fair. Finally boosters, oh my god, I missed just the free locomotion here. Ready to depart. See ya. Heart seal. Ready to cycle. Wait a second, Juno. Jack, listen. There's something else. Captain Rhodes, maybe now isn't the best time. I'm not about to send him out there with only half the story. Liv, what is it? You remember... On the Astraea? When you saved my life by repressurizing the bridge? Oh. <laughs> oh no. The oxygen that flooded into the bridge was contaminated. Dr. Harlan's already run a test. <sighs> God damn it. The infection's in my system. No. Jack, listen to me. The contaminants were microscopic. 
There was no way you could have known. No, I cleared the vents. Yes, you did. And if you hadn't, I'd have been dead almost instantly. <laughs> <laughs> I did not expect that. Are you alright? Are you experiencing any pain? No. I'm fine. I'm not feeling any effects at all. Currently, the captain's infection is dormant. It takes time, often years, for the biomass to shut down the human body. What's more, her particular strain of the infection is less aggressive than Dr. Harlan's. Perhaps due to her having acquired it in the past. The best thing we can do right now, the only thing, is help Dr. Harlan develop his cure. We do that, all our problems are solved. Technically not all of them. You'll still be stuck in the wrong time. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Juno. Get to the generator. Stabilize the power grid. Hopefully, by then, we'll have come up with an idea for what's next. Well, I hope that's not gonna be the ending that I think of. Liv, I promise. I will make this right. Nothing to make right, Jack. This isn't your fault. Now off you go. Good luck. Commencing depressurization. Technically she's fine, like she would be dead already, so we're just prolonging the depressurization complete. cycle. <laughs> Exiting airlock. How do I reach the generator? The generator facility should be just up ahead as you exit. Copy that. We're back in space, B. <laughs> and with just open world. <laughs> this is crazy, but wait, it's like much larger I'll than the first the game. For you. Drew. Pull the FTL's output log, starting a few minutes back from the accident. What are you looking for? If your android is right and the FTL accident really did create a temporal anomaly, then we should see clear evidence of the event in the output data. FTL drives don't normally rip open tunnels through time. I don't believe being infected by biomass is normal either. Wait. You're right. Juno, can you pull up the readings from right when the ticks attack the drive? Stand by. This resonance. The FTL shouldn't be creating a displacement with this signature and nowhere near this magnitude. Then it's the biomass. Has to be. It's causing some sort of reaction in the drive. We'll need to run some simulations. Let's get to it then. Jack, we'll be on standby. Acknowledged. This is actually way more crazier than I think of currently. Like, I'm pretty sure we're gonna just explore everything here. And in the first game, the storyline was pretty linear, but I have a feeling it's not gonna be the case here now. Wow. Well, I'm happy for fast movement, <laughs> that's for sure. I've located the entrance. Unfortunately, it seems the airlock is offline, most likely due to the power failure. An alternate access method will be required. Does that mean there's another way in? Station blueprints show an access hatch on the facility's exterior. Look for a small rectangular hatch with a red cover. Copy that. I'll take a look outside. Here it is. Pretty much behind it. Access hatch located. Looks like I'll have to cut my way in. With the generator's interior in a vacuum state, it should be safe to use your cutter here. Explosive decompression will not be an issue. Copy that. No takes. I'm inside the facility. What's next? The main problem is almost certainly the reactor. It's a large cylindrical structure in the facility's central chamber. The access way will take you there, though additional cutting may be required. But please, try to avoid damaging our former workplace too heavily. Juno! Wait, you two used to work here? Juno and I were part of the station's biomass research team. So you were here during the outbreak? No, I had uh, taken leave to pursue my theory for eliminating the biomass. By the time I returned, it 
was too late. There was no one left. Oh my God, Harlan. I... Captain, please. We have work to do. You're right there. It's locked. The reactor is completely shut down. It appears as if there was an internal malfunction. That explains the power outage. And the life support failure. Right, better open it up, Jack. See what's going on in there. Scan successful. Interesting. Shortly before the outbreak, the engineers developed a means of optimizing the power flow of the reactor. Jack, if you can find more data on this, I may be able to adapt these principles to your integrated cutter. How much more data? Uncertain. Without possessing the actual data, it's impossible to measure its size. Nonetheless, I've made an entry in the data tab on your ARM computer. I anticipate only a few more scans will be required, though. Acknowledged. I'll keep watch for more data reports. I'm opening the casing for a closer look at the reactor. Copy that. Malfunction confirmed. A bad reactor core. You'll need replacements to get the reactor running again, Jack. The facility contains a storage area that might be worth investigating. Thanks, Juno. I mean smoking. <laughs> A fully charged core. Might be useful if I can find a proper receptacle for it. I mean... <laughs> is it not clear? Now simply rotate the core clockwise until it stops turning. <laughs> locked in. Excellent. Cartridges. Okay, I'll ask. Some type of local data storage. Correct. Insert enough of them into a database terminal, and the terminal's data port will become available to scan. Oh, okay. <laughs> nice work, Jack. Much of the data here will prove useful in augmenting your cutter. Unfortunately, oh. we will need more to complete the design. But I did find something that might be of interest. A voice memo from the station's chief engineer regarding the technology. I've added it to your ARM computer's data tab, Jack. Wait, wait, wait. Upgrades? Now actually we have a reason to do it. Data recovered. Audio file. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> That's like hand shielding, I guess light. Wow, they really stepped it up. Amazing. This drone's power appears to be depleted. There should be an induction charger nearby. Simply insert the drone to replenish its power. Once it finishes charging, we should be able to access its data port. Come back here. <laughs> Don't struggle. Good news, Jack. With the data you just collected, I expect we need only one more scan to complete the design. Juno, you know, I need you to run the math on these same parameters. Yes, Doctor. Dr. Harlan, why did you have to leave the station? There, there seems to be plenty of biomass. That is all highly evolved. I need the base genetic material, and that can only be found in an undetonated biomass torpedo. There's nothing more I could do from here. Right. Then what brought you back? Did you know the station had... I'm sorry, Captain Rhodes, but we do not have time for me to recount my entire life story. I was here. I left. And when I came back, everyone was dead or gone. All right. Fine. 
Why don't I simply compile an archive of the logs covering our time away from the station? That way, the captain can review them at her leisure. If you must, but after you've finished verifying the SIM parameters. Very well. I will let you know when I finish, Captain. Thanks, Juno. A rather prominent location for a manual interface. Those are the distribution controls, Jack. They'll eventually direct power to every facility in Chiron Station. The reactor will need to be activated before this console will work. Acknowledged. Malfunction identified. Bad power cores. You'll need replacements to get the reactor running again, Jack. There's one more, alright. Okay. I can't cross? I'm too fat. <laughs> A fully charged core. It seems inaccessible at the moment. Well, it will be in a moment. <laughs> this access hatch could provide a way into the storage area, but some of the bolts are outside my cutter's range. We might be able to do something about that, actually. From the few logs I've been able to access, I believe the generator staff were working on improving the reactor's efficiency. If we can recover data on their efforts, I may be able to adapt that technology to improve the range of your cutter. Look around for any equipment containing a data port. Copy that, you know. Excellent. That did indeed provide sufficient data. Just give me a moment to process everything. Stand by. Schematic complete. Please head to the nearest fabricator so we can install the improvement to your cutter. Uh, I saw one. Integration successful. Your shell's reactive cutter has been refitted with extended range and efficiency. Wow. Well done, Juno. The pleasure was mine. And please, restrict cutting to non-critical equipment. <laughs> That's so fun, we have like upgrades now. It really is groundbreaking in VR games. Uh. Okay. Come on. I've managed to open the hatch leading to the storage area. Splendid. The area should now be accessible through the maintenance deck below. Captain, I finished compiling the log data you requested. Great, can you pass it to my arm computer, Juno? Actually, best send it to Jack as well. Of course. Jack, I've added it to your data tab. Wow, this is some archive. It was an illuminating expedition. I took the liberty of segmenting the log entries. Feel free to review them at your own pace. If you two have finished, I've input the parameters for the next scene. Of course, Doctor. Should we listen to it now? I mean, I don't know how long it is. <laughs> Let me see. I guess this is the earliest. Seizing faster than light travel in 3, 2, 1. FTL jump complete. We're approximately 450,000 kilometers from Earth. Bring us in slow and begin long-range scans. Of course, Doctor. For the scan criteria, shall I use the same parameters as those when we examine the Kronos remnants? Or perhaps from the wreckage of the unknown vessel? Both. And factor in the fleet's travel time. Kronos incident. Plus four months. I already have. Beginning sweep. And now, we wait. There has to be at least one torpedo left somewhere in that mess. Mm, not interesting, honestly. Second core installed. Acknowledged. Please visit one of the nearby consoles to bring the reactor back online. <laughs> The reactor. 
Vector is back online. The power hasn't returned here on the ship yet. Jack, power still needs to be distributed from here to the ship, as well as the rest of the station. The console you saw in the control room should now allow you to perform this final step. Jesus. <laughs>